questions, please? No, Matt. You could talk about your thoughts on the, on the first of all, you sustained your first your, your first set loss of the tournament and come back with the sixth love. I mean, that's maybe that, what does that speak to your ability to kind of bring your game to the next level? If you will? Well, it was never going to be an easy match <coughs> against uh, NC Kyle. It's a quarterfinals of Grand Slam, and I was aware of his qualities and uh, you know, ability to come back to the match. So, you know, after I lost third set, I definitely um, uh, tried to regroup and, 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 you know, just focus on, on every point individually and uh, start start playing the same game that I had in the first two sets. You know, I suddenly changed for some reason. I allowed him to come back to the match. I was starting to push the ball, being a little bit more passive and allowing him to come to the, <coughs> come, step into the court, come to the net. And he was playing, he was playing. No question about it. He was not making many mistakes. I started making a lot of unforced errors and you know, the match turned around. But, uh, but you know, it was important to get the, the, the early break in the fourth. <coughs> I've done that and, and after that, you know, it just kind of, Really, you know, felt a big relief on the court and just went for, for, for my shots and, and played great. To be at this stage in the tournament, I mean, just talk about your level of, of confidence and, and the way that you're playing. Level of confidence mm -hmm. is right, right at the, right at the top. You know, very close because I, I've, I've been playing uh, most of my matches here, uh, very, uh, very aggressive, very dominantly, and I've, I've been very satisfied with my performances overall in the whole tournament so far and, uh, and even tonight you know even though I dropped the set I still felt that I was in the control of the whole match I played great and uh, to, to finish up the match with, uh, with six love win you know, against usually it's, uh, it's definitely encouraging for me for the next challenge. Well, that was, was it something special in your mindset tonight because you seemed pumped up as soon as the first set was going on and really wanted to make a point of it? Well I, 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 I just you know, I know that uh, Mikael is also kind of a player that, that feeds off the energy of the crowd and he loves to, you know, he pumps himself up. So I wanted to make sure he knows that, I, you know, I'm, I'm there to, to play and play in point. And, uh, you know, of course, I'm, I'm extra motivated as the tournament goes on. It's score finals, night semifinals, and I want to win. I mean, that's, that's, that's why I'm here. I, I try to enjoy every moment spent on the, on the court without you know, winning all the matches. Okay. Well, Novak, that um, your match against Stan in Melbourne was such an epic. Obviously, can you just give us your recollections about about that night, especially in terms of what just a pure standard of tennis? If you know what I mean. Oh, yes. <coughs> this was definitely one of the most exciting matches I've played in my life on the surface and against uh, Stan and um, that that played uh, on a very very high level and. Uh, you know, in, the, in in the past, we all, we all knew that he he has the quality to play that that well, but not in a, in a consistent basis. And uh, now he, he he worked on worked on his I think uh, movement a lot and, um, and, and, and you know, some some variety of his shots in the game. And he's a very complete player. I mean, he, he can play equally well on any surface. And he had uh, one of the best seasons I think in his life. And today he won uh, straight sets against the defending champion on Arthur Ashe. That's, that was quite impressive. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure that he's very confident and he's, he has nothing to lose now. He's just going to go for the win. You've often spoken of your love for the electricity on Ash for a night match. But are there times when the crowd is rooting for an opponent to come back against you and extend the match that it can be annoying of, of this passion coming? Well, look, you know, I mean, it depends <coughs> from, depends how you do it. I mean, from one side is there are, there, there are people who want a longer match, in which I understand and support your opponent. There are people also who will support you. So I try to focus on, on my own supporters and, and the box. And um, of course, I, I try to, to, to do my job. To, to win the match, and uh, but but it is something special, really. The, the experience of the night session in Arthur Ashe is, is like no other really, uh, and uh, it, it offers this electrical kind of um, atmosphere that, uh, that that carries also the players, you know, to, to and also makes them play their best and, and enjoy every moment. Um, and Andy said after his loss that he thought the efforts of winning Wimbledon had, had taken an emotional toll. Can you empathise with that? And has that ever happened to you after any of your games? For sure. I mean, it's uh, uh, never easy to 
after you win a Grand Slam, <laughs> to motivate yourself again to play smaller tournaments and then you know, prepare yourself again to be mentally, physically, emotionally 100% committed to another Grand Slam that is basically uh, just a month and a half after his biggest, his biggest win in career, which, which is Wimbledon. So I've been in these particular situations. I know it's, uh, I know how how it feels, but uh, <coughs> but this is tennis, you know, and uh, you definitely um, learn always something new every single year, every single season, and uh, you grow as a person and as a, as a player. So that that kind of a mindset, uh, uh, you know, to, to always try to get better on the court, off the court, help me to, to, to understand what I need to do, you know, in order to, to, to stay number one, in order to always strive to win the, the Grand Slam title, because uh, it's, it's a huge competition nowadays, and all the <coughs> top players are very consistent, and in order to, you know, be in the mix for number one of the world, or, or contender for a major title, you have to be giving everything that you have, basically, and, uh, and, but it doesn't depend only from you, it depends also from the people around you. You know, they have to make that sacrifice in order to allow you to, to achieve your dreams, which is, uh, which is uh, it's a blessing for us, you know, to, to, to be able to have this kind of people around us. Can you share some thoughts on Richard Gasquet being uh, in a semi-final of the major against Rafael Nadal? No, it's a great success for him. Uh, he hasn't been in a semis of a major for a long time and I think it was actually one time in, in Wimbledon uh, that he played so I'm sure that uh, that he's enjoying this uh, achievement and um, now he has nothing to lose against Rafa he knows that uh, probably Rafa is a favorite but uh, you know it's, it's hard court and um, he's been he's been playing well and uh, he's been winning some long matches he had two days to rest and uh, it's going to be interesting you know that Richard it was always one of the most talented players uh, that, uh, that played the game and one of the most beautiful and, and, and also most efficient backhands that, that we've seen and uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a best of five and uh, we'll see what, what, what happens there. Novak you have a lot of responsibility you know being number one and you know trying to win a slam and still you're going to host you know, your second year, you're going to have the dinner on Tuesday night, September 10th. How close is that project to your heart, to your foundation? It's, it's very close to me. Uh, I, I, try, I try in the tournament not to think about, uh, to Sorry think about that. No, no, no problem. Thanks for bringing that up. It's, it's, it's nice from you. Uh, but um, obviously my, my girlfriend is, is directly involved in organization and also the people that we have in foundation, they're doing a great job. And we are getting more people on board, and uh, we are growing as a, as a small foundation. You know, we had the fun, first fundraiser in Agro last year <coughs> after US Open, so we're going to have another one. We had one after Wimbledon, now we're going to have another one here after the finals. So we look forward to that. It's uh, it's beautiful. I mean, to, to be able to to have uh, over 300 people in one place, or you know, influential people who are also people with good hearts. And, and try to get as, as much as uh, money raised as possible in order to, to help uh, education for kids in Serbia. That's uh, that's something that our foundation is, is doing uh, in the last few years. Just three more questions. Um, for going back to your match uh, after the third set, after losing the third set, you were down four one. What specifically did you change in your play to take back control and win the fourth set? Um, well, as I said before, I uh, start pushing the ball a little bit and wasn't as you know, confident, confident to take uh, <coughs> a step forward and, and go for shots, and that you know, uh, caused some unforced errors and uh, allowed him to, to come to the court and be more, you know, more aggressive, and uh, that's why you know, it resulted in the third, third set loss. But, I just I just went back to, to to the game that I had from the start of the match and uh, I played a fantastic set. Uh, overall, uh, everything was working and I was aggressive, I was serving well and just the way I actually should, should play. All right, uh, you have uh, you have had such nice work for Stan on the court from here. I know you speak French much better now. Is it possible to have a few words? For Stan in French, what that means for you? We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, okay. Alone there because I don't want to embarrass <laughs> <laughs> you. Sorry about that. Uh, 
Novak just wondering have you gotten a chance to since January to watch the match or stand back on YouTube or video or anything sure I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to analyze that game but, uh, <laughs> but do you it's go quite different I mean it's the beginning of the year but still I mean uh, not just myself but I have a big team of people around me that, uh, that will definitely do the, the analysis and uh, preparation tactical preparation for my next opponent and, uh, I'm not gonna watch a whole match that I had this time because then it's gonna take me half the day to, to stay. <laughs> but, uh, Do you ever watch them not just for tactical purposes? Yeah, yeah, of course. Just I watch it, of course. Yeah. Huh. yeah, YouTube is a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> it helps helps to uh, to remind yourself, you know, some good moments. Thank you so much. Thank you.